Hello world! In this video, we'll be setting the foundation of adding the Heads Up display to my voice activated digital assistants. We'll be turning on and off our camera using voice commands specifically in this video. So let's check that out. But first, welcome to the 122nd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Before you watch this video, check out my last digital assistant update to see all the voice commands I can use now. But now, let's check out the camera commands. Shane. How can I help you? Turn on camera. Alright, so the camera is turned on, my webcam. And as you can see, it went back to the program. So I have two different programs running, the Heads Up Display and sh uh, my Digital Assistant. And so, and I can still perform those functions as well while the camera's on. So we can test that by um, Shane. How can I help you? What time is it? It is 12.40 p.m. There it goes. And so we can do, uh, Shane! How can I help you? Turn off camera. Okay, there you go, and it turned off. Uh, it did send an attribute error to the analyze command, but it turned off my camera. So, that's pretty much it. So, how I'm able to do this is, uh, by using threading. And so uh, let's go through the code. Now this is just a simple turn on the webcam script that um, I placed into an object oriented programming class. And, um, and then I use threading to call the methods of it. So you can watch the non-object oriented program uh, by clicking here to see what a normal function of turning on your webcam with OpenCV is. And now I won't be updating my GitHub project uh, for this because there are some critical errors that I'd like to fix first and I'll show you those specifically soon. And then you can watch my OpenCV Heads Up Display program by clicking here and you can see kind of the progress I'm working that I would like to add to this digital assistant. So let's go through the code now. So we have op imported CV2 and so make to import that, it's actually OpenCV-Python if you pip install it. And then we've also imported threading. All right. So nothing has changed here except that we put the camera variables above here. So right now I hard-coded a screen width and height of 500 each. Um, but um, if you've seen my heads up display videos, you know that I have made um, a dynamic width and height, which means it changes to the screen size. And then we call that, um, we reference it using the variables instead of these hard codes. Then we start a class called co camera control. And I'll probably change this to heads up display in the future. And we're going to initialize it using the self underscore dot underscore running is true. So that means every time this class is called, this default running will be true. And now we have two methods. One is terminate, and you pass the cap, which is this capture variable that we set here, and zero is my webcam. And then we release and destroy it, and then we quit this program. So that's how we terminate this program to allow us to turn it off. Now unfortunately this doesn't work well. Sometimes I get a crazy OpenCV error and maybe I can duplicate that when we run this again. Then I have a method called run and we pass it the cap as well. So while this is running, so anytime we run run it will be true. So we're going to try while this is true, so while one is the same thing as true uh, we're going to establish ret and frame, and we're going to do a capture.read. The frame is going to be a cv2.cvt color 
pass it the frame and pass it this variable here capital color BGR to BGRA it's gonna say shade in the upper left onto the frame and then if I press key um, basically the escape key then we're gonna break right and then it's gonna destroy these windows which is the same thing we're doing with the terminate um, this allows me to press an escape key and maybe in the future some sort of button or something to turn it off and then if we get a CV2 error we're going to print that string and that's pretty much it and so now when we go into the actual uh, loop of the program we're going to call the class right we're going to create an instance of this class called C and camera then we're going to do threading so threading allows the simultaneous process or simultaneous to us uh, a human as we perceive simultaneous or parallel operations but it's not just so for any of the nerds out there who understand threading or multiprocessing so then we're going to establish a thread called camera equals threading dot capital thread the target is C dot run so that is this we're using the method C dot run so anytime we call this camera ver uh, thread we're going to pass it and notice that we're not calling it so it's not like this like you would call and then we're going to pass it arguments which is capture and then blank so if you only have one argument that's how you do this it's a tuple or a list and so you leave that blank if you have two variables you put the two variables here and then a comma with nothing after it then no change to Shane or starting a conversation log again you have to watch my previous digital assistant video to know this and no change in analyzing our commands now what we did change is when we do analyze the command we are going to find the command called turn on camera and when we find that we're going to camera which is that thread dot start which I showed in the um, in the thread that's how you start a thread and then if you turn off camera you do C which is the camera class dot terminate and pass it the cap and that's what this is right here so terminate you're passing it the capture which is started here and then it releases it and destroys all windows so we start the thread here but then we use the class to terminate it and I would love feedback if this isn't the proper way to do that so for any of my threading nerds out there you can automatically see a problem right you can only start a thread once so by only having one thread once I say turn off camera I can't turn it off again now I can add camera camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 and have it read the exact same way but what if I have to turn on and off my camera five times so I'm gonna have to way figure out a way to do that the second is OpenCV doesn't like this right here this terminate because it looks like there's two separate cases of OpenCV running so let, let's see if I can um, duplicate that and basically I'm going to cut until I can duplicate it so let's check that out Shane how can I help you turn on camera Shane how can I help you turn off camera oh there you go so we have this infinite loop of assertion errors so it'll eventually stop I believe and it'll keep on going until I press escape I believe nope it'll just keep on going so I don't know why it's getting that so let's stop that and I have to exit so I read on stack overflow that that's because I started it using a camera class and then I'm terminating it using a method within there so OpenCV thinks that there is two cameras running I think 
So if anybody knows how to correct this error, please let me know. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you did. And please leave a comment if you know a better way to do this, because I would love to hear it, because there are some errors. I won't be updating my GitHub to show this. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching me build this digital assistant. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.